So, I understand that you are the chief information officer at this mapping agency. Yes, that's right. I hear you've got quite the interest in a more open approach to mapping, as do we. That's right. I mean, my day job is working with the IT group, in a local municipality. But after hours, I have been working on a new idea, called Common Map. Sure, what is it? Well, you know how you have your mapping group publish the authoritative maps, right? Yes. And you know how it always seems to be an endless battle, to keep up, with the changes that people are making in the real world, right? Right. Well, Common Map can help with that. And why is that? Well, have you heard of things like Web 2.0? Yes, I have heard of it. What about crowdsourcing, or volunteer geographic information? Yes, that has been discussed quite a bit by the Open Data crowd. And some of the vendors including SRE. What did you think of the idea of crowdsourcing? Well, it sounds like a way for people to let us know when and where our maps need updating. It seems like it could help us build a richer mapping product together. Sounds great. So why haven't you got it up and running already? Well, when we investigated the idea of crowdsourcing, we ran into a few difficulties. Indeed. I think I know what they were. But, I want to hear it from you first. Well, it was going to be pretty expensive to set up our own web portal. Yes. So, we'd looked around for what was already being done out there. Right. And, we found OpenStreetMap. However, we had several problems with it including a problem with its license. And, what was that? It's share-alike clause. I had a feeling you'd say that. As you know, we're on board with the open data policy that the public now expects from us. However, because OpenStreetMap has a share-alike provision, we can't use the community contributions in any of our official mapping products. We need to be able to have our ATA used not just for public and not-for-profit purposes, but for private sector applications as well. The share-alike clause is actually a restriction on use. We would also lose control over the integrity and correctness of the data if we went with the open street map data and policies. So it sounds like you're not going to do much with crowdsourcing then? Well, we may be able to use it to get tips on where updates are required. Sounds like a lot of duplication and unnecessary expenses. You could make that an argument. So what are you proposing? Common map. Are you telling me it can help us take advantage of crowdsourcing in terms that are reasonable to us? Well, I think it can solve the licensing problem as a start. And maybe some other issues also. Okay, I'm listening. Well, Common Map basically shares the same software base as OpenStreetMap. But the license is better suited to the government open data policy. They both make use of the Creative Commons attribution license, but Common Map drops the share alike clause. So that's the Creative Commons attribution license without the share alike clause? And that would make it practical for us to share the data with everyone and to benefit from their contributions? Yes, exactly. That's the kind of license we use here as well for our open data. Can you see how that kind of symmetrical license may work better for you? I think so. Although, how can we trust the contributors to enter accurate data? Well, there are some options we could work on. For example, we intend to combine Common Map with an open source content management system known as Drupal. Drupal has some plugins for reputation management, and perhaps we can work together on refining one of those. Okay. Another option is to do what the Weather Bureau does with storm spotters. They invite the spotters to enter into an agreement with them. You could use the spotters' agreement for mapping, or at least use it as a template. That may be worth considering. 
I will have to chat with the Weather Bureau and see how they do it. Here's a quick technical note that might be of interest. ESRI has an OpenStreetMap plugin for their ArcGIS desktop. And QGIS is a plugin also. And we know Safe Software has an OpenStreetMap plugin for FME. Will Common Map work with those plugins? Yes, we think so, but we need to do more testing. Okay, what about the issue of using our ATA where it is available instead of crowd sourced ATA, which may not meet our specifications? You've really been thinking about this. Yes, that could be built into the process. Crowdsourced data would bring to the table real updates only, not arbitrary replacements for elements already contained in your data sets. We can also ensure that all identifiers on elements are retained, which will likely be required for proper maintenance. So I understand that Common Map can help us maintain our ATA to a high standard so that it can continue to be the authoritative source. It looks as well that we can achieve full GeoData round tripping in an agency to crowd back to agency sense so that the process really is in both directions. Yes, although I've also been calling it government to community to government round tripping. Well, that all sounds like very good food for thought. How do I contact you or another representative of Common Map? If I want to take this further, the best way is to look for the contact information on the Common Map website, directly at commonmap.org. You can also get in touch by looking us up on LinkedIn, Twitter or Facebook. Well, that all sounds very government 2.0, doesn't it? Well, aren't we in an age of government 2.0? Yes. We're committed to government 2.0, it's just a question of figuring out how to do so in the best possible way. Well, thanks for hearing me out. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about.